ici, nous sommes à Papillon, encore, euh, à la Santé, New Year's Day 2016. Tout seul au moment, mais peut-être il y aura des gens qui arrivent plus tard. Mais si plus tard, ce sera plus tard. Trop tard, en fait. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you know, this is an English story told by the late, great Clement Freud, brother of Lucien Freud, well-known painter, and grandson of uh, Freud. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, Freud. Anyway, well-known lunatic. Anyway, this is a story told by Clement Freud, who was an excellent raconteur, so, you know, he's hard act to follow. However, it concerns a chap who liked to have a drink, but wasn't allowed to by his wife, only on very special occasions. And it was New Year's Eve, and he wanted to go out to celebrate New Year's Eve. She didn't. She wanted to stay home and watch uh, Andy Stewart on BBC. This is before the days of uh, Jules Holland on the BBC. Anyway, she said to him, you can go out, but if you come back in the state you were in last New Year's Eve, it is over, finished between us. He said, no, I've learnt my lesson, I shall, I shall certainly um, not come back as I was before. Anyway, uh, so he went out and uh, at some point during the evening with his friends, he burped, or in Francais, he, he rote, he le rote, he le rote. But even worse than that, he actually followed through and um, he threw up over his shirt, his waistcoat and his jacket. <sighs> what the hell am I going to do? I can't go home. I cannot go home. But his friends put their heads together and eventually came up with a cunning plan. His friend said, look, Take a ten-pound note, put it in your top pocket there, you see. And when you get home, before she starts, say, excuse me, it wasn't I who threw up of my clothing. It was some other chap. And look, he gave me ten pounds for the dry cleaning bill. He thought, that might just work. What do I got to lose? So eventually, he rolls up back at his place, banging on the door, because although he hasn't lost his keys, he can't for the life of him find the hole. And um, she opens the door, and before he can begin her tirade, he says, no, 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 listen. What happened was, This other chap threw up over my clothing and he gave me, look, this ten pound note to cover the cost of the dry cleaning. And she said to him, then why do you have two ten pound notes? He said, ah, yes, yes, yes. The second ten pound note was from the chap who shattered my underpants. Phew, cheers. Landed